What is going on guys? Today we are at home and we are going to do a home vlog, discuss upcoming events that we're gonna go to, uh, uh, certain vacations we're gonna go on and take you on a tour of our uh, Disney inspired house and Star Wars inspired house. Um, I don't know if it's inspired. We just got a lot of, a lot of knickknacks that we keep, stuff we bought from Disney World because if you know us, we absolutely love Disney World. We go to Disney World once, twice, maybe three times a year. Um, so yeah, also want to try out some new equipment. I got a stabilizer for my camera. Also got a microphone that I'm going to try here in a second. And um, I hope you like it. So let's go. All right, guys. So here's the stabilizer. Um, it's actually for my iPhone. So we're gonna try it out, walk around the house, show you a few things and see what it's like. All right guys, so here's where the magic happens. That's my desk for our videos. And then there's my work desk because I actually do have a full-time job. Here's some of the things we have picked up at Disney World throughout the years. Um, just pictures and knickknacks. We do love Thomas Kincaid. So we have at least 70 puzzles in our house. And there's a Disney castle picture. Cinderella's castle with some coins that actually have... Walt and Mickey and Cinderella's Castle. And of course the TV books. All right, sorry for the weird cut there. So here's some more Thomas Kincaid photos or puzzles. Get the Little Mermaid and Pocahontas. Alice in Wonderland. Lion King. And Sleeping Beauty. And this is our movie room where Sunshine is putting together a Snow White. Snow White. Thomas Kincaid puzzle. And we, we got the furry babies in here. That is Chewbacca. Because I love Star Wars. And there's my lightsaber collection. Or half of them. We also like Marvel as well. And there is Bailey. And we got our popcorn machine. And then we got our popcorn holders from Disney World. And of course my Star Wars posters. And then I don't know if anybody remembers this, but they used to have Star Wars weekends. And these are some of the figurines that I had collected for the Star Wars weekends. And of course all our movies. And as we walk down the hall, we have Lady and the Tramp, Sorcerer and Mickey, Mickey and Minnie. We got a lot of Mickey and Minnie photos or puzzles. And if you look on this side, this is the rest of my Star Wars collection. We got a Sokotano. Ray Skywalker's lightsaber, Count Dooku, and Emperor Palpatine. And of course, I got the posters for the sequel trilogy. And then there 
is Mickey and Minnie in Paris. And then Mickey and Minnie in New York. And some more Mickey and Minis. And this is our game room. So we do have a pool table in here. And of course we have some arcades. Because who doesn't need a Turtles in Time arcade machine? With all four turtles. And then you got Pac-Man, of course. And if we look on this side, we have Minnie and Beverly's Hills and Pinocchio. And as we go around the room, we got Rapunzel. We got Sorry for the weird glare there. We have Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, Little Mermaid, Snow White, Seven Dwarfs, and then the Jungle Book. We have all the Thomas Kincaid puzzles. Sunshine collects them, and that's kind of like her hobbies putting puzzles together and then we glue them and hang them up and then if we go in Tweedledee's room of course she loves Spider-Man so she has to have the Spider-Man posters we got Aladdin and Jasmine Alice in Wonderland over here we got the Little Mermaid and then up top we got Dumbo So if you've ever been to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, you can pick these lightsabers up. At a cost. But I've been collecting them for a while now. And they are really cool collectibles. How's it coming? Um, it's coming. She will literally put these things together in like three days. Where I have no interest. I collect lightsabers and... Movies. So yeah, back to where the magic happens. And then Cinderella Castle background. So yeah. So let's go upstairs and check that out. All right, guys, we are upstairs now. So like I said, we have a ton of these puzzles. There's Mickey and Minnie in Spain. And then we got Mickey and Minnie in Greece. Mickey and Minnie in Florida. Sorry for the weird glares. It's pretty nice outside today, so the sun's shining. There's Pinocchio. And then another Little Mermaid one. Kind of different. And then a few of my favorite ones is here. We have Cinderella's Castle. This one you can actually pick up at Disney World. And then there's Sleeping Beauty's Castle, or Disneyland, California. And then Cinderella's Castle there. And then Pirates of the Caribbean. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? Let me know in the comments. How do you say it? But this one here you can actually pick up at Disney World as well. There's Beauty and the Beast in the Snow. Here's a blank one that's actually for the one Sunshine is working on currently. And then we have Donald and Daisy and Huey, Dewey, and Louie on the beach.
And we have another Beauty and the Beast. And Rapunzel. And then Alice in Wonderland during the tea party. Mickey and Minnie camping. Mickey and Minnie at the Chinese Theater. Sleeping Beauty. Cinderella. And Snow White. And then there's another Snow White right here. And Cinderella. And then here we have Aladdin. Another Rapunzel. And then another Cinderella. Some of them are duplicated based on the package size. Oop, almost forgot. Princess and the Frog. So we do have some duplicates hanging up. And this is Bug's room. She has 101 Dalmatians. Mulan. Beauty and the Beast there. Peter Pan. And over here we have Rapunzel. And she too has a Spider-Man poster. As you can tell, we have a lot of puzzles and we just hang them up. Um, we're actually running out of room, um, but we'll make do. Um, she likes to puzzle us. She also collects salt and pepper shakers. And I can show you that in a minute. Um, yeah, right now we're in Scorch's room and he does not have any puzzles, but we had designed his room basically like a Pixar ball because we like Pixar because we love Disney. Um, so check it out. So Squirt's favorite is cars. So we had to get him a car poster. We have Finding Nemo, this Up, and then Wally. And then his bed is basically a Pixar ball. So we got the blue and yellow and red and of course the Pixar sheets. And then we got over here Toy Story and Ratatouille. So really cool. He does love Legos. So we have a little Lego collection there. And of course I collect these stuffed animals from Disney World. So here we have Goofy. And then we got Donald, Mickey, and Pluto. Winnie the Pooh, Tigger 2. And my all-time favorite. Elliot. And the original Elliot. Not so much on the new Elliot. Leave your thoughts in the in the comments below. Let me know which Elliot you like best. Alright, so we're back in the kitchen. And I had mentioned that Sunshine likes salt and pepper shakers. So, up there is her Disney salt and pepper shaker collection. And then she's got a bunch of salt and pepper shakers up there. So you got Mario and Snoopy and some just regular household item ones. But yeah. We did go to the salt and paper salt and pepper shaker museum, which is in Gatlinburg. Um, if you haven't checked that one out, check it out. It's it's very interesting to see how many salt and pepper shakers there are in this world because they have like two million in that museum it's fantastic so i almost forgot these puzzles here these were for the 50th anniversary of walt disney world and so we picked these up last time we were in disney and of course we had to pick up the other puzzle that was there which is the original Magic Kingdom map so it has all of the original um, rides that were there when they first opened and then over on this side we have Epcot and then the Tree of Life from Animal Kingdom 
Sorry about the glare there. It's, but yeah, you could pick those all up at Walt Disney World. Also, I wanted to show you the Jim Shore collection is pretty cool as well. So there's the Fab Five. You could get those on Amazon or we got this one actually at Hallmark. But they have all kinds of Disney collection Jim Shore um, figurines, which are really cool. And I had mentioned earlier, I love Elliot. That was my favorite movie growing up. Um, I got this one from Disneyland a long time ago. So, it's just a little glass figurine of Elliot. He's actually holding my class ring, but yeah. Also, whenever you go to Disney World or Disneyland, check out the anim animation experience. So, some of these were done at Disney World. And some of these were done at Disneyland. And basically, you get in front of an, an animator and they teach you how to draw um, Disney characters. So we like to do that every time we go and kind of collect them. And put them up on a wall. That one's a blank one for future drawings. So let's talk what to take to Disney World. So when we go to Disney, like I said, we go try to do two or three times a year. Um, some of the things I like to take with me is, of course, a bag. Here's my bag. It is a Toy Story bag, and I love this bag. We have sprayed it with Scotch Guard, so when it rains, it'll just bubble up and it won't get soaked. Um, we like to take wet ones, so when we go to eat, we don't have to rush to find a bathroom to wash our hands. We can just wipe our hands off, maybe wipe the tables off after somebody's been used. Um, some of the other things we'll take is like a, of course, an umbrella. It's Florida. It's going to rain all the time. I grew up in Florida. It rains every afternoon. So umbrellas are neat. And then we'll take a raincoat. And then, of course, other essentials like um, ibuprofen. Uh, tissues, um, things like that. Um, also a phone charger. Um, a lot of our phones are waterproof, so we don't have to worry about the, the rain getting to that, but we will take a phone charger with us so that we can charge our phone because um, they will die using the Disney app because you will use the Disney app a lot for lightning lane, um, wait times, mobile order, things like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, my bag isn't that big. It's just enough to carry the key essentials. Um, I do have my wallet and my keys and and all that. But, yeah. Um, leave a comment in the below. If there's something I missed that you thought would be a good idea to take, um, yeah, drop me a line so that I could try it out and let you know how it works. So I'm down here with Sunshine, and we're talking about things to pack for Disney. One of the key things I forgot to mention was to take a water bottle. Because in Florida, it's hot, it's humid. You're going to want to stay hydrated. Taking a, a good water bottle with you. We use uh, the flask bottles. Um, Hydro flask or Owala. Yeah, Hydro flask or what was the other one? Owala. Yeah, so the, they're good water bottles that will keep ice. It will keep your water cold, so you, and they fit in our bags perfectly. Um, but yeah, if you have any other suggestions, hey, drop a line at the bottom. Let me know what your thoughts are. And yeah, so. All right, so that's it for the home vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, future vacations that we plan on taking we are going to disney world in july so we will be there hey if you see us stop by say hi um we're at we're also going to charleston um for a dave matthews concert 
So if you like Dave Matthews, I will be vlogging that. Um, we are going to Philadelphia in August, and we're going to see a Phillies game. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of upcoming events. I know we're going to Busch Gardens. We're going to try to go there twice, uh, probably sometime this month, and we'll vlog that. We'll also try to do Hollow Scream. And if you don't know what Hollow Scream is, it's basically like a bunch of haunted houses at Busch Gardens. And they're absolutely fantastic. It's a good time. Um, we'll ride some rides, try some food, um, tell you what's good, what's not. But yeah. Again, I hope you liked the video. Um, go ahead and ring the bell. Uh, leave me some comments, things you would like to see in the future. And then, of course, love, peace. Chicken grease. Can you say hi, Chewy? Hi, Chewy. Can you shake? Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Old Chewbacca. Say bye.